Welcome, uh, Matthias Reckenburg. You are the project manager at OpenQRM. Could you tell us something more about the data center management platform you are building? Yeah. Uh, with OpenQRM, we uh, try to give the we try trying to give the system administrator a complete solution for managing uh, their data centers. What we often found out is there are uh, critical, loosely connected tools uh, being used for uh, managing uh, modern data centers today. And uh, some of those tools, the system administrator won't miss, won't, uh, don't want to miss. So um, with OpenQM, we have the option to simply integrate those uh, specific utilities for the system administrator within OpenQM as an additional plugin. Uh, we are a well-defined plugin API. So um, the system administrator benefits later uh, after the integration from uh, his loosely connected tools integrated within a single management console. And uh, the benefit from that is that uh, integrated tools uh, cooperating uh, with each other and with OpenQRM with the with the deployment and provisioning framework so that uh, actually OpenQRM can handle and act on specific situation or events automatically. A good example for that for example is, is Nagios. We have an integrated uh, enhanced monitoring uh, plugin, a Nagios plugin, which feeds errors uh, into OpenQRM as events and OpenQRM then handles these events automatically by, for example, restarting or redeploying the machine. So Matt, what problem is OpenQRM trying to solve? Uh, OpenQRM tries to make it uh, very easy for the uh, user uh, for its first step into virtualization. That means it provides, OpenQRM provides tools to, man, uh, to migrate a physical machine into a virtual machine from any type. And uh, then with its uh, partitioning layer, uh, it conforms virtualization technology so that the system administrator may decide at any time uh, to move a physical system to a Xen machine, uh, from a Xen virtual machine to a Linux V server partition, from a Linux V server partition the next day to QEMU and back to a physical machine if needed without changing any anything on the image itself, on the server image or hassling with configuration files. When you look at your competition, what are the virtualization features on your wish list? Now we are not uh, a, a real single virtualization technology, but we are uh, um, a platform which tries to conform virtualization technologies. What we've learned today from uh, the different talks uh, profos was that uh, there is no single hypervisor virtualization technology which is just the best or the, the single option for a user. But what we learn is that uh, for each service or application uh, people are trying to virtualize, uh, there's always a virtualization technology which may fit or fits best for this application. So the user should always uh, select the virtualization technology uh, upon his needs on the service and application he wants to virtualize. With OpenQRM, we uh, try to uh, close the gap of um, um, the current problem of migrating from one technology to another or uh, the first step for the most users migrating from physical systems to virtual systems. What do you think about the standardization discussions by vendors on open formats such as OVF? What I'm currently uh, seeing and also understand from the uh, uh, vendor uh, people, from the people from virtualization vendors which were here today, uh, was that there is um, great motivation of cooperation and of building a standard. Uh, on the other hand, everybody wants to keep his own customers and uh, the option to move from one virtualization technology to another uh, of course may not be beneficial for, uh, for every company. Matt, what evolution do you see in the virtualization mindset and capabilities of the data center engineers and decision makers you work with? Uh, actually, what I feel that most of the 
uh, people are still quite far away from virtualization and the facts uh, or information which we have today. Uh, we have to decide, we have to p separate two parts. So first is the, the company, the manager of the company who uh, actually needs to decide on which uh, virtualization technology the company co should concentrate on. Uh, on the other hand, we have the Swiss administrators who really m should manage uh, the virtualization later. Uh, first, the manager, they don't know really much about virtualization at all. What they got is from the news, from some articles and uh, mainly they are uh, focused on VMware, which is currently the biggest player in the market. Uh, the Swiss administrators are a bit different. They are looking uh, at the situation from the technical point of view, most of them, uh, meaning they are more open to uh, try different virtualization technology, technologies and see what uh, in, in their situation is the best choice for them. And uh, for uh, those system administrators, uh, we can offer with the OpenQRM project this uh, conform, conform layer of uh, virtualization so they can just migrate from one virtualization technology to, to, the, to another or even back to physical machines. Do you think we need to educate the business users about the array of possibilities virtualization could offer them? Yeah, definitely. And uh, I think uh, this conference profiles is a really great opportunity for that, especially because we have a one business day and one technical day. So uh, what I s felt from the first day, uh, we, got off, we got a lot of uh, uh, very good and serious information for uh, the business people. And uh, well, we're looking forward to tomorrow and see what comes there. What about licensing issues? What did you foresee in the OpenQRM platform to correlate between the software and the virtual environments it runs in? Uh, yeah, you're right, but uh, we did not yet implement anything about uh, licensing features for virtual machines because what we see is that the most commercial operation system vendors are not yet so far yet. So everybody is still struggling in this field? Right. What do you expect the commercial vendors to do? Uh, I'm not sure what exactly to expect from the commercial vendors. I hope they will open up and make a fair business model for their users. What do you consider a fair model and measurement unit for the users? Uh, maybe we have to think about, uh, currently we are um, by billing um, bandwidth, uh, load, uh, CPU power to customers, for example. Uh, with the virtualization thing, we may need to think of uh, another factor, uh, virtualization factor, virtualization load or whatever, which we can uh, convert into a number for uh, a bill for a customer who is using the virtual virtualization. Do you think electricity consumption could be such an underlying unit and, and a way to educate the users? Yeah, it's definitely a good idea to educate the users uh, via the electro electronic uh, consumption because this will save our whole climate and world. Storage seems to become quite a virtualization bottleneck. What systems should users be able to support? Yeah, you're right. Uh, storage is a serious thing when it comes to virtualization because bringing up a new partition, a new virtual machine, is just about having some memory on a, on a computer and uh, the storage for the file system image. Um, we integrated uh, OpenQRM with uh, modern storage server technologies like uh, NetApp and LVM2. Uh, those storage systems uh, providing uh, rapid cloning f f uh, features means um, in the moment I uh, need a new server I, I can cl create a clone from a golden image uh, a server template and then just deploy the clone that means uh, deployment time in OpenQM uh, is reduced to boot time Matt, thanks a lot for your time and all the best to OpenQRM Another exclusive interview brought to you by virtualization.com.